Oh, yeah, for Tasha Del Salah, who gets us underway. Australia playing from left to right in this first semi final. And the first block goes the way of Clancy. Climbing on service reception. Rolls it down the line. Bit of tape on both players. It's been a long, hard couple of weeks in Cancun. And Clyman gets her first block. Couldn't get enough on the ball to get it out of the net. Good effort though, because it comes back off that net really quickly. Service areas at the start of this one. First time out, uh, first side switch, excuse me. Australia lead at 4 3. on the break picks up the ball nicely good pick up from Ross again the break from Clancy and she goes down that far side this time good left hand Yeah, nice skill from Ross. off the block you know, difficult for the Australians this season they they really enjoyed this hub in Cancun simply because they can play high level beach volleyball what with everything going on in the world in terms of health and the strict quarantine uh, rules in place in Australia they've uh, taken the decision to uh, miss Sochi and Ostrava, the Australian pair, and uh, come back to Europe for Gestad beginning of July, end of June, and then go on to Tokyo from there. Not ideal preparation at all, but it is what it is, sadly for them. Yeah, nice work from Ross. Yeah. 
Clancy and Ross coming together. And Ross just asking Clancy if she's okay, and she is, which is good. Oh, that could have been a bad knock on that left knee. Fortunately, she's okay, Clancy. Lyman. And the USA call a timeout. 10 5. Australia lead in this opening set. And they want to try and put a stop to this run as quickly as possible. It was 5 4 Australia. So a 5 1 run. Well, these two teams, uh, well, they played each other in every uh, hub event. In the first event, they met in the second knockout round. And uh, in the first one, Natasha and Clancy got the better of Clarence Ross. 29-27, 21-15. And in the second episode, uh, last weekend, Clarence and Ross got the better of the Australians dropping the first set 1921 but coming back 21 11 15 11 yeah too close to the net Sarah from Ross. is set too close to the net oh yeah Clancy over on second ball longest rally of the contest so far great work all round brilliant rally miss those points those wins but just give you that little lift if you're on the receiving end it just dampens the enthusiasm over on second ball from Ross touch of the net from uh, Clancy Power. 
So last point before the technical timeout. Plumman goes down the line but misses. And that is an excellent start to the first set from Australia. The USA have already burned their time out. And Australia lead 14-7. Well, before this visit to Cancun, the last time the Australians were in Mexico in uh, Tetamal back in uh, November 2019. They came away with a gold medal. Good season 2019. Fourth in the Kinjo three star, third at the World Champs in Hamburg. They won the Warsaw four star just before the World Champs. Also picked up a second and a third in that uh, 2019 season in the uh, China swing in Xiamen and Xinjiang. Oh, that's a lovely cut shot onto the line. All at sea in this first set, but a number of times in this event we've seen teams that have been comprehensively outplayed in the first set coming back to win the second. So Australians certainly won't be counting their chickens just yet. Ross goes big. Artacho. Uh, I'll tell you what, she's been equal to every question she's been asked. Service ace. And the lead is 10. Yeah, nicely done from Plumman going cross court. Gets that one all wrong. Side switch. The Australian lead is eight. One and Ross, of course, the bronze medalists in the last hub event here. And we finished ninth in the first one. With a well charged angle shot.
set too close to the net. But I tell you what, she's won the joust. Natasha up against Kleiman. Kleiman again 194. Natasha 174. Here are nine set points. And the service ace gives Australia the opening set. What an opener from the Australian pair. 21-11. And Alex and April are going to have to uh, have a little chat at the sit-down. They need to try and turn this one around. Yep, inside the line. Thank you very much. Well, the first time these two met in the Xiamen Four Star in uh, April uh, 2019, two years ago, the Australians won the first set, 21-14. Just looking at the scores. Well, that returns the favourite from the last time these two met when. Uh, the Americans won the second set 21-11, having lost the first 21-19. So, just a, one back from the Australians there. Now, let's see how we go in the second set. Big block. Seven of the previous nine times, Alex and April have prevailed in the semi final to make it to the gold medal match. seven of their previous 12 semi-finals the Australians have prevailed to make the gold medal match so both sides with good conversion rates Kleiman with the error He's cut it wide. There you go. Hyman trying to go on the cut shot. Doesn't miss by much, but a miss is a miss. They're going after Climbing again because she hasn't been. Uh, on full ball and attack. That time though, a little misunderstanding in the Australian defence. Oh, good get from April. Rare error from Natasha. Over on second ball, but over and out on second ball, and the USA. We're in front for the first time. 4 3.
kick from Otasho. Good block. Monster block from Clancy. We're just coming up to uh, nine o'clock in the morning in Adelaide where the uh, Australian pair reside. You're tuning in from South Australia or anywhere in Australia. Welcome along. Thanks for your company. Just hits the line. Long set across the net. And she's there again, Natasha. Clement just not quite firing on uh, offence. It's a Sunday morning in Australia, Saturday afternoon on uh, the west coast of the USA, where of course the American pair are based. Well, not of course, but that is where they are based. And that's better than Clement. Again from Artasho, she's had an excellent game. Agonising for Atasha, she scrambled back, beautifully judged from April Ross. Yeah, yeah. cross call from Peter Fancy. So prowling around on that baseline, working out where she's going to go. Goes to April Ross. Good by Clancy off the net. And Kleiman rolls it cross court. Come on, Emma. Come on. Emma, Emma. 
Oh, she's got it wrong. She's got it wrong. As Clancy and once again, the benefit of asking your opponents to play one more shot. Comes out, great get. Not sure April Ross needs to get that one, but here, Clancy with the error. So they will have the lead of the technical timeout, the Australians, that one for him just inside. And it's a lot closer at the technical timeout in the second set than it was in the first. It was 14-7 Australia in the first set, 11-10 Australia in the second. This one going along the lines of what we thought the first might, but uh, the Americans taking a while to uh, get their rhythm now. Is that a little bit of uh, late evening sea fog coming in? A little mist maybe? Teams back out. April Ross serving 10 11. Service ace to the crucial time extends the lead it a little bit further to three. falling as we thought still high 20s though so shouldn't be too bad for them Clancy serving 14 11. Big serve goes to Kleiman. Kleiman cuts cross court. Finds empty sand. Quite heavily now. Yeah, that sort of crackling sound. Oh, 
big raindrops. Simon gets that all wrong. And they're just uh, stalling at a crucial moment here are the United States and they decide to call the time out. And they'll just have a chat about things, see if they can arrest this slide. Gone from 11-10 Australia to 16-12 Australia. And the USA can ill afford for that run to continue. All that deficit to expand. Well, they won the bronze uh, back on Monday. It took Capel Ross's career winnings to uh, <laughs> twenty-five dollars short of one point two million US dollars over the fifteen years uh, she's been competing. That's just prize money oh, he'll be finding gold at the end of that rainbow we'll find out tomorrow Fancy gets up big. Oh, the DJ's got there. I was expecting that song a little earlier. Hasn't worked, calling the timeout. The Australians lead by six. Can't deal with that one. Nicely done. This for six match points, and here we go. The Aussies with a chance to pick their place in the gold medal match. They've won six of their previous seven gold medal matches. The only one they lost was the Jianjing gold medal match in. Uh, May last year.
Climbing then, serving to try and save another match point, but she puts it into the net. And it's a rather sad end to the game for the Americans. The Australians won't care. They've rattled through the first of the two semi finals and they will be through to the gold medal match tomorrow at 2.30 local time. Alex and April through to the bronze medal match at midday tomorrow local time. And the Mexican, the local Mexican supporters enjoying that performance. And Natasha, of course, from Peru. With a little bit of uh, rapport going with those bands on the far side. She had an excellent game, Maria Fiatacho. But in truth, it was disappointing from the USA. They never really got going in the first set. Uh, to 4-3 Australia. Australia started to go through the gears and uh, builds up a, a big lead. And yes, uh, a little bit of a run by the USA. But 21-11 just shows you how comprehensive it was for Australia in that first set. And Clancy and Natasha dovetailing so beautifully well. Some great uh, defence from Clancy. Locking of the net and some great digs from Artasha. That was the one that went wide. Into the second. Ross getting there. That was the error from Clancy, but probably about one of the only one she did. So that's a good reaction from her. And then the rain came. Didn't change things. Australia dominant in the second set. It was close at the technical timeout, 11-10, but uh, they won the second half, 10-5, and uh, thoroughly deserved their place in the gold medal match, where they will face the winners of Agatha and Duda, Pavan and Himana Perez. Let's listen uh, in. playing the World Tour for quite some time before these two tournaments. How does it feel to be in the final again, especially here in Mexico, where you won last time? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. They've done such a great job. And yeah, we haven't performed at our best in the first two events, but we knew it was coming and we're just so happy to be back in the final. Hey, Marife, you played this team, this, the three tournaments uh, here. This was easily the best performance for the two of you. Yeah. Do you think it has more to do with adjustments or just like playing better and being able to execute? Yeah, I think um, being the third event, you know, like T mentioned, we were pretty disappointed with our results. So we were, we were ready to come back stronger and um, we had a clear plan and we really stuck to it. And yeah, just so super happy to come, have come out on top. Congratulations. Thank you. The thoughts there from Artacho and Clancy who are through the gold medal match tomorrow at half past two local time. 21-11, 21-15, the final score.